now here with World Language Department Head, Mr. Bowen. Uh, Mr. Bowen, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about this new Chinese program in District 220? Sure. Um, what we have is a grant that is able to extend our Chinese program. So we're going to be able to start in kindergarten and go all the way through grade 16 university level studies. And the students in K to 5 will be in a 50% immersion program. That means 50% of the day they'll be learning Chinese, the, what they're studying in Chinese, and the other 50% of the day in English. Wow, and what is the significance of uh, Senator Durbin coming to Barrington today? Well, as you know, Senator Durbin's a longtime senator here in Illinois, and he's Senate Majority Leader, so he's a pretty powerful guy in Washington. Um, when I was in Washington last May, I was able to go to the Illinois uh, Coffee, and I got to ask Senator Durbin what kind of support there is for world language education in the United States. And he said, well, you know, we really don't have enough. Well, then we turned around, we applied for this grant. And so he's coming to present to us the grant we have to develop our program, $1.5 million over five years. Wow. Well, that is a great grant and a great program. Now we're here with Barrington High School's Chinese teacher, Lao Shi. Lao Shi, how do you think this new program will affect the future programs at Barrington High School? Ni hao. I think when these kids um, th who's learning Chinese right from kindergarten, they'll be more proficient when they grow up. This is a great thing because the brain is still soaking up the environment, and Chinese will be one of those. Mm -hmm. Now here with Rose Principal, Mr. Carlson. Uh, Mr. Carlson, are you excited for the new program to come to Rose, and uh, what does it mean for your students? I'm very excited for it to come to Rose, as is the Rose staff. Um, this is going to be a great addition to the already excellent education that goes on here um, and a great opportunity for our district families. Thank you very much, sir. I'm here with Senator Dick Durbin. Uh, Senator, uh, why do you think it's important for U.S. students to learn Chinese? Well, China, of course, is the uh, largest nation by population on Earth. Yes. And just two weeks ago, they surpassed Japan and became the second largest economy in the world. So our future and the future of China will be linked together. And the students who can speak the language, understand the culture, will be our ambassadors and our business people in the future. Yes. Uh, well, thank you, Senator, for visiting District 220. Now here with Grace Mitchell, eighth grader at Station Middle School. Grace, do you enjoy speaking Chinese, and why did you take it? Well, I really like to speak Chinese because I feel like I really it really powerful when I'm speaking it. <laughs> like, I can't even believe it's coming out of my mouth. And I took Chinese because I thought it would be helpful in the future with um, international business and also within the community. Th those are some great reasons. Now I'm here with future Chinese students Hewitt, Evan, and Arnaf. Guys, you're looking forward to studying Chinese? Maybe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Looks like they're excited. Now I'm here with Eric Peterson from the Daily Herald. Uh, Mr. Peterson, um, seeing what District 220 has done, do you think it's a good idea and do you th think it will get implemented in other districts? Uh, from what I understand from talking with the Senator and from Todd Bowen, the project manager here in the district, uh, part of the reason for the grant is to make create a program that's both uh, sustainable and replicable, meaning that um, District 220's implementation of such a program is supposed to make it easier for other districts to implement a similar program and learn how District 220 started it up. Now I'm here with two dear friends, Connor McCartney and Tommy West. Connor, how has Chinese affected you? You know, ch Chinese just kind of opens doors for us. Uh, Miss Lin, she's a great teacher. Uh, not only do we learn the language, we learn the culture. And that's what really is important. Now here with Chinese students and my cameraman, Abe Solberg. Abe, how has it been filming this segment? Uh, Han Hao. Han Hao. <laughs> Han Hao? You, you want to explain? Yeah, well, actually, that's Chinese for very good. Um, the Han means very, and uh, Hao means good. Oh, well, <laughs> that's, that's good to know. Thank you.